Hello everybody, Hugh Jones one and also uh, not the owner of Axis Football, the game, but the owner of the League Ultimate Axis Football League. Here today we are talking about the scheduling for the major leagues of Ultimate Axis Football League, which are the 32 most skilled teams out of all 100, no, it's 128 teams as there are 32 of them in each league, so. But we're here today to, to discuss scheduling because I'm releasing the schedule for the preseason today. This will be posted on this channel along with another channel as well, depending on which channel you're viewing it from. As they'll be both posted on Huge TV and Huge Own One ensure that people are going to get notice of this but also the games will not be broadcasted on the channel he showed one they will be broadcasted on huge tv as the purpose is television to entertain people so yeah let's get to the schedule so here's preseason week one as you can see there are a bunch of different dates and a bunch of different games June 4th, rank Kansas City Wranglers versus the Nebraska Thunder. Now, if you guys watched the um, Golden Game of this year, then you probably know that the, goal, the Thunder is a pretty big deal. But we don't know who the Wranglers do, but all I know in uh, boys football, in the boys football league, like, it's called, what was the Called, what is it called? Extreme Access Football League. That's who the boys TV owns. The Wranglers missed a winning, a game-winning field goal and costed them to lose, just like the Chicago Bears did in like a couple of years ago. Then we have the Buffalo Indians versus the Minnesota Pride. We recently broadcasted a minor league game on Twitch. We're not going to broadcast the minor league games on Twitch anymore. Unless if it's a practice game or something like that, but I don't know. It depends. But they will be playing in Minnesota, as you can tell. And we're going to see who wins the game. Also, the Indians did not win their game. This is pretty much a minor league rematch, except in the major leagues. Alrighty, moving down. Green Bay Axemen versus the Boston Whalers. These two teams are very strong. As in the Extreme Access Football League, which is another league not owned by me, the Axemen made it to what is known as the Access Bowl. Access Bowl number two. No, wait, it was Access Bowl. No, it was Access Bowl number two. Never mind. But they ended up losing. I'll talk about the winner of that Access Bowl later. Next game, Louisiana versus the we Louisiana... Gators versus the D.C. Senators. Now, the Gators recently had a official not call a play in week seven of the um, Extreme Football League. For some reason, it he went to catch the touchdown. Both of his feet were in. So under ruling, that's a touchdown, but it was never called as a touchdown. I don't know if they came back and won the game because the full game has not been posted yet. At least... As I'm recording this. So. I'll check out if they actually got another down to get the touchdown. Scrolling down. Next up is June 5th games. Pittsburgh Ironhawks versus the Dallas Lawman. Pittsburgh is this year's Access, Access Bowl champions in the Extreme Football League. But in the, my league, we have 32 teams. In this league, 
some of the teams weren't present, like, for example, the Braves, as I'm, I'm technically a Baltimore fan, so I'm a little upset of that, about that, but oh well. It is what it is. It's his league. He can do what he wants. But Pittsburgh did lose the golden game of this year to the Nebraska Thunder, so who knows who could win this year's. Um, I'm going to call it the Ultra Bowl. All right, moving down. The Seattle Bruins versus the New York Barons. The Seattle Bruins are actually the Access Bowl champions of season one, which was the year before Pittsburgh won. And these guys ended up beating Pittsburgh to get to that spot. So Pittsburgh all together is a really good team in the extreme in the extreme football league. But they did lose to the Thunder in the golden game of my league. But again, it's just a Hall of Fame game, so it doesn't really matter. Moving down. Baltimore Braves versus San Francisco Sharks. This is kind of like a Super Bowl match rematch. When the Baltimore Ravens won against the San Francisco 49ers. But here it is in extreme, in not extreme football league, access football league. This, that My league is called Ultimate Access Football League. My bad. Yeah, both the names are a little cool. Are very cool. Alrighty, moving down. We have the Cleveland Coyotes versus the Carolina Rebels. As the Carolina Rebels are, we'll see what they play like. Cleveland, I know their actual NFL team has gotten really good too, so we'll see what happens. Games on June 8th, Indianapolis Gladiators versus the Denver Mountaineers. Now this game is a little fun to, to see. Because we got two teams that have been having difficulties get through. Next game, Orlando Rockets versus the Detroit Firebirds. Now, who knows who will win this game? I have no idea. But the Orlando Rockets is actually going to be affiliated with the Tampa Bay Rockets. I mean, no, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, because that's the closest team I could get them to. So, yeah. Next game, Tennessee Bloodhounds versus the Cincinnati Royals. We will see who wins this game as well, as they would be playing in Cincinnati, Ohio. Los Angeles Tide versus the Philadelphia Express. Um, and then after that, we have... On June 9th, Miami Warriors versus the Atlanta Razorbacks. Moving down the list, Arizona Heat versus the Houston Bombers. Then we got the Chicago Lakehawks versus the St. Louis Racers. And the Las Vegas Outlaws versus the Oklahoma City Cyclones. Yeah, that's pretty much preseason week one. So that's going to start in about a couple of days. Along with minor league, the um, single A minor league t- games as well. But I have not released the schedule for that, so... It's going to be a fun times. We're going to see who comes on top in all these games.